Okay, it's time to jump into high racing with Yonkers with DK2, Logitech G25, and Close Sport V2 pedals at Lime Rock Park in the Skip Barber on the start grid. Uh, let's hope we can get through to the race in one piece. If we crash into anyone and kill them, then uh, there's a little exit to the left there, and we're going to be running away into the forest, hopefully not to get caught by the police. Now, not in gear because the, the race isn't even ready to start. You can't do anything until uh, till the lights come on the screen. There's a fire exit sign up there. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm right at the back of the grid, so hopefully everyone in front will just uh, crash and I'll, I'll power on through. That's the plan of action for this race. Number 13 in a nice green-blue car there. Oh, waiting for everyone else to join the grid, I think. Should we go? 20, 25 laps of this track, it's quite a small track. And Lime Rock, of course... Uh, one of the early tracks in iRacing. I'm not sure if they've changed it much over the years. It looks pretty much the same as I remember it being uh, when I first went on iRacing in 2008 or so. Um, but I haven't actually been on it that much since, so this should be interesting. Car all in one piece. Wheels attached to the vehicle, yes. Good team that we've got here. Make sure that the wheels are attached to the vehicle. That's what you pay for. Oh, we're ready to go. Lights on the screen. Red light. Go, go, go. The acceleration of a small fishing boat. And we're off. It'll be interesting just to see where we can come in this. I'm still learning the brake points and uh, racing line with this car on this track. So, let's just see what can happen as we're behind the bumper of this uh, light bluey green car. Oh, he's nipped him past there. Good job. I don't think I'm going to bother making any moves or doing anything too rash until we get to the second lap. Someone flashes on and off from uh, a bit of lag. Let's put the names on the... Uh, It's normally this last corner here, from my experience, that you end up with people flying off the track. There we go. There we go, there goes one. And that, when he rejoins, it probably takes one out of the whole grid. Swoops Don't across like a flock of swans. Uh, no, everyone's still in the race, though, miraculously. Okay, I'm going to start trying to push a bit harder which is probably uh, a cue for me to drive uh, really? oh why would he move what is he doing <laughs> I seem to be in one piece car contact one somehow seem to be in a, in a piece I don't know why you wouldn't just if you lose <laughs> if you crash like that and you're parked in the middle of the track just stay still and then everyone oh dear there goes two more cars if you, if you crash like that, just stay still and then everyone can work their way past you. If you start moving, people have to not only guess where you are, but where you're going to, making it a lot harder to avoid. But, oh, I hope we're not just pootling along by ourselves now for the rest of the race, after that little accident. We're now... I don't know where we are, let's see. I should update when I go across the start-finish line. In the top ten, or oh, we're tenth. <laughs> from last to tenth due to people driving into each other like buffoons <laughs> always the case in iRacing especially in the skippy which is, re it is really easy to lose on these corners the sort of spaghetti western spaghetti there you go through here and it's like a soup bowl full of spaghetti all wheeling all over the place going gonna have to try and speed things up a bit though the Skip Barber does have a really weird way to drive it fast. I mean, obviously, it's a car, so it drives like a car. But you have to sort of get a mixture. There goes another guy. It's a mixture of keeping things really tidy um, 
and you know not sliding and trying to get the speed through corners but on some corners it does seem to be beneficial to actually slide it a little bit or you know or even go in slightly too hot no oh, this guy's gonna drive into me if I'm not careful don't know where he's gone is that Harry Houdini he's disappeared where's he gone he must have drove off the track probably saw a McDonald's sign thought I don't want to be driving on Lime Rock anymore I'd rather have a hamburger and there he, and he's gone <laughs> so yeah the, the approach of the corners to get the speed out of this car is, is to me I'm sure it maybe it isn't strange but to me it just feels like a really strange car to drive fast oh and I'm driving slow at the moment <laughs> all over the place. The guy behind me is probably wondering what, what I've been drinking. Mostly cups of tea. Wait, is he just driven into me? I think he drove into me, but he didn't really do anything. Luckily. Oh, he's disappeared and come back again. Told you, it's Harry Houdini. I knew it was... Uh... <laughs> What is he doing? Pulling across. Clearly I'm on the left hand side. Oh dear. Harry Houdini. Who's Harry Houdini is it? It's Anthony. It's Jay O. Jay O'Donovan. Sounds like a 90s pop star with his flashing on and off. And uh, I think he's crashed the other guy and got enough damage to be out of the race. So goodbye Harry Houdini. I mean, really, I guess I could look at the replay, but I don't think I had much more room on the left. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he drove into me, so... I'm going to blame Harry Houdini for that. <laughs> it probably was my fault. It normally is my fault, but we'll pretend it wasn't. And that's uh, how you can drive with a guilty free conscience. Now, you're supposed to take this corner here a bit... A little bit wider than I am, so you can get on the throttle and then power on through, but I don't know. I'm driving some special racing line. <laughs> it's called the slow racing line that people tend to avoid. We're still in 10th place, though. It's all good. There's probably a couple thousand more laps to go. Plenty of time to lose control and uh, have to repair the vehicle. Whoops, a bit wide. I don't think I need to brake for this corner, you know. I think you just carry speed through there. It's one of the things with iRacing. I find it really hard to really feel out the limit of the cars. And I think it's one of those sims where a lot of it... You're better off doing things through trial and error than trying to do it through feel alone. Now, who knows? Maybe uh, with a servo wheel, a better quality force feedback wheel, maybe you get more from the sim to drive more off feel. But with a G25 at least, I find it really oh tricky. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Someone's obviously crashed. Don't, don't back on the road, go from the grass. <laughs> it sounds like an argument at the dinner table. It's basically. I'm really sorry, really, really sorry. It's <laughs> Super Mario. Super Mario has caused a crash. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to drive it back onto a track. I may have killed you, but it wasn't my fault. Let's, let's, uh, let's annoy everyone. Away, you sound like a Super Mario, eh? <laughs> I don't think people appreciate that. Must be like the uh, the Italians. <laughs> what do you do? I come back on the track, uh, you silly boy. Oh, let's at the break. Won't talk too much. So I didn't see you from the mirror. Uh, Mamma mia, pay attention. That's a borderline racist Italian impression. Next time. <laughs> but we're still going. It's, it's a good race, uh, I think. Um, tenth place from last so far. There's only a couple thousand more laps to go. Um, you know, still plenty of time to end up crashing, but... Again, why, I don't know why I'm dabbing the brake there. I've got like an itchy left foot. 
Incidentally, the uh, Cub Sports have really nice uh, pedal brake face pedals on them, which are really good for itching the bottom of your foot. So probably not the uh, cheapest way of itching the bottom of your foot, but you know, if, you, if you're into sim racing, it's a feature. Maybe Fanatec should include it in their marketing material. They they like to uh, include a lot of stuff in their marketing material. It's another it's another bullet point. These corners are really, just really strange. The tyres are like on and off with grip around them. Whee. Feels nice going around these uh, spaghetti corners uh, with the DK2 though. I, I find this track, I actually quite like the track, but I find it so boring in this car on a on a monitor. But with the DK2, it's actually a little bit like a roller coaster, making it even in such a slow car, quite enjoyable. As there's three caravans stuck together, which doesn't make any sense. Not sure what that is about. Maybe it's an American thing. Stick caravans together. Bigger is, of course, better in America. In England, small is better because no one can afford to buy the land to put anything on. Oh, God, he's breaking to... Uh... I don't know, actually. It's probably my fault there. Luckily, I was ready for... Ready for my mistake and ready to see him do whatever he did. Back to the caravans. Let's see if we can spot them again. Ooh. Drifting that. Style points. <laughs> Through the spaghetti section again. Don't know what those corners are called, but they should be called the spaghetti corners. Right. The caravans on the right here. There they are. What is that about? If you want to drive them down a motorway, you're going to be blocking <laughs> the whole thing off. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at caravans. Don't try and make a move on me. This bright pink car on my tail. Daniel Cascado on the right in his fluorescent green and purple car. Some people critical of the uh, livery that he's chosen. With many drivers complaining that it distracts them from the racing Daniel, line. Oh, God! Points, <laughs> Don't trust him. He just forced me off the road. <laughs> Luckily, with the DK2, full situational awareness and the 3D allowing me to avoid his tyres. And now he's gone. Can't see him anywhere. But that was exciting. And it is nice to actually have people... Even if they're, even if they're maniacs, it's nice to have people sí. next to you. A ver, sí. What lap are we on? Uh, and what position am I? More importantly, let's have a look. We're catching up with people somehow. I'm position nine. Oh, okay. We're having a, a lesson of Italian now. Super Mario, obviously. Dime. It must be uh, Italian time in iRacing because they're all on the voice chat. I think they're saying uh, bad words. Fortunately, in a language I don't understand it and not aimed at me, so you know it's all okay. It, it adds to the ambient sound. I, I can imagine real, you know, real race drivers just sat there listening to an Italian no, no, conversation whilst they're trying to drive. Total realism from high racing. LimerockClub.com. Limerock Club, of course, the best place to go clubbing in America. It's where all the uh, pretty girls are. The Limerock Club. There it is on the hill. The Limerock Club. Looks suspiciously like a, a wooden house, but no, it is in fact. Oh, a premium nightclub. <laughs> oh dear. Missing my break point because I was too busy looking at Lime Rock Club. Who's in front of me? Fernando. Oh dear. Fernando something. Let's have a look at the. Uh... Fernando F Frank Gnoul. I can't drive and look at people's names at the same time because it's too far down. 
Okay, we'll, we'll look at his name on the straight. That'll be the perfect opportunity to actually try and read his name. His name is so long, it looks like an Irish town. Welsh town. I don't know why I said Irish. I meant Welsh town. Fernand Frank Ignore. That's a name. Pretty awesome name, actually. You're not going to forget that if you... Uh, you know, if he crashes into you, you've got his name remembered for life. So in some ways, it's bad for him, but good for everyone else. It looks like we're catching up with him. Game of Muscle versus Fernand. It's not Fernando, it's just Fernand. <laughs> Unless that's how Fernando's spelt and I've never noticed. Come on. Catching you. I'm reeling you in. Like a... Like a fish, like a bass on the end of a fishing line. It's getting closer, reeling him in. We have to wait for the first, for the perfect time to tug on the rod, and then we'll have a Fernando in a back pocket, a Fernand, Fernand Frankigal. I don't know how many laps we got left. Oh, okay. He's, the rear of uh, Fernand's car is absolutely destroyed. <laughs> it looks like a piece of modern art attached to the back of his car. Should be able to overtake him. Just have to give him plenty of space. Look at that, it's absolutely bent. <laughs> the arrow on that should be interesting. Oh, he's let us pass, thanks Fernand. And there goes the fish into the basket. We'll have to weigh it after the race to see if it's a competition winner. From but I don't think it will be what with the modern art attached to the back of it. Dime. Daniel is talking too much. I say Daniel, I mean Super Mario. Oh, God. Okay. Why do some people just talk so much? Says the guy making a video of a full race whilst talking. But I'm not talking in game. That's That's the key thing. Oh, how many laps to go? Ten, five. I wasn't paying attention. Let's flick through here whilst driving around these corners and losing all our time. There we go. We have got ten laps. Okay, I thought it was nearly over, but actually no. I should have bound a mute button to uh, be able to shut these people up. I have to say, actually, I've never heard uh, Italian voices. I hear a lot of Australians playing iRacing at certain times. You definitely get loads of Americans playing iRacing. Um, but this is the first time I've ever been in a race with uh, what's, what appears to be Italians. I could be getting my accents completely wrong, but... I wonder how the demographics break up, actually. Which uh, nationality is the most... Or which nationality plays the most are racing. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably American due to the Oval. And then, I guess... Uh, I would have thought it would be a lot of Germans playing are racing. Ger Germans, uh, as a nation, seem to have a lot of people playing simulators. And uh, Brazil seems to play a lot of simulators. So, well, we'll have to have a look. Someone can say in the comments if they watched the video this far. Way over the top of the hill. Cut the grass. <laughs> We're lapping really slow. The, the pace for this track, my last lap was one minute, which is terrible. I think it's 56, 57 seconds is the pace. So I'm miles off it. I should be doing... I've, Previously, I've done a 57 on this track, so I don't know what I'm doing. I guess the talking is probably not helping. Driving wonky probably, probably isn't helping as well, but, you know, as I say with our race, I think you just have to put the time into it, too. Otherwise, you start forgetting very fast. Whereas with... Um, with some of the other simulators, uh, Assetto Corsa, uh, uh, even R3E, I find I can generally just jump into it and fill out where the limit is. I'll factor two to an extent with some of the cars as well. I think the limit 
is communicated uh, in, in a more transparent way. Depends on the cars. I think the Star Mazda in uh, iRacing, you can quite easily tell the limit in that car. Or I can, anyway. Probably depends on the force but we're on a whole bunch of factors. <laughs> Maybe he's Brazilian, not Italian. <laughs> I have just noticed actually the skyboxes are different. They've, they've got different skyboxes for the same tracks. It might depend on the temperature and stuff. But the last time I was racing on this, there was a massive sort of storm cloud uh, in the corner. This time, the sky is nice and wispy. And I think because of iRacing using a sort of static weather system rather than a, a dynamic system they have done really nice sky boxes that look pretty photorealistic probably some of the nicest sky boxes of any simulator which of course is the most important aspect of simulation and uh, all all sims should be judged on their sky boxes look at that nice little puffy cloud you can imagine a plane leaving a, a good vapor trail through that Okay. Oh, it's on my right whilst I'm doing weather presenting. Let's just follow behind this guy, actually. <laughs> That'll keep me on pace, hopefully. Unless he's just too fast for me, which is likely the case. Hello, it's Murray Walker. Could competitors please stop talking during the race? Thank you, thank you, goodbye. I might quiet him up. At least someone's appreciating the uh, comments. Oh, it seems to have been quiet. Murray Walker always gets people to, to, to shut up. In fact, before Murray Walker did raise commentary, the people used to just wheel him out to get people to be quiet before sporting events, TV shows. Oh, five laps to go. That's a fact about Murray Walker that many don't know. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what racing line I'm driving. Oh, there's dust in, coming off his rear wheels there. You need some kind of device to make the immersion even better where whilst you're sat at your desk, you got a little fan with a bit with a little sand pit in front of it. And when a car drives into the dust in the game in front of you, this, the fan can activate and blow dust into your mouth. Um, you know, that would take it to the next level of immersion. Again, not sure why I'm drifting. guy won't shut up you can mute people there, there is a mute button and I'm now I'm regretting not setting it so it's my fault it's really punishment for me not setting the game up properly it's a lesson learned now you can brake so much later for this first corner and basically be sort of on the brakes around the corner and balancing the car I think that's how you're supposed to take it uh, unfortunately I don't know what I'm doing my driving right now. I'm just going to blame it on these guys that are chatting too much. That's <laughs> that's what it is, not my inability to drive. And Taro Santo. Antara, you've been warned by the marshals. Any more talking and I'm afraid they're going to have to cut your arms off because the marshals are um, actually Saudi Arabian for this event. So please be quiet. Oh, there goes another car off on the right. Free position and uh, he's not shutting up. It's like torture for the years having to listen to that guy's grating voice at least two or three times thank a lap. Three laps to go, let's put this back on here. As you can see actually, using the Oculus Rift, I'm accessing the buttons on the G25 
absolute garbage G25 shifter. Uh, and, you know, it's totally fine and comfortable to access the button. So I think if you've got a button box, as long as it's laid out well and, you, you, you know, you're putting it in a place where it's familiar, it's not going to be hard to use it whilst using the DK2. So that's... Uh, there you go, that's nice to know. I've got a blue flag, where is he? Oh, he's miles away. <laughs> he must be lapping a good two or three. Okay, I'm gonna pull over because I think these two are racing. Go, guys. There we go. <laughs> well, that was nice of me, wasn't it? I might have even given a place there just for the blue flag guy. That's how far off the pace I am. That's depressing. White flag. Doesn't mean surrender. It means we're on the last lap and uh, then it's race over. But you know what? It's been a, a mildly enjoyable race. I feel like I've learnt the track a bit better. Uh, definitely miles, miles, miles off the pace. But considering uh, we drove into someone and uh, damaged the car a little bit, perfectly happy with 10th place. It's like six places from the start. And uh, other than the guy talking too much, absolutely fantastic. So, is that it? I don't know if I've finished. Okay, I guess it is finished. You are one gone. Okay, yeah, we are finished. I don't know why the uh, spotter guy so delayed at calling the end of the race. Well, I went after the and Sergio Alvarez takes the race win with 24 minutes, 26 seconds. Absolutely incredible. Gibraltar, McLaren, Iran and Dananas comes in second place. Irvine Pereira in third. And in fourth place, Massimo Buscello. Absolutely, absolutely incredible racing. It's been enjoyable. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Goodbye. So, uh, yeah, that... So that was a race in our racing. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.